you love cookies. In this video. See, there she is with her leggings. Daisy, who are you picking? Um, I'm not really sure because, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't decide. You incorrectly guessed your picker? Oh, how annoying. Oh, her outfit's adorable. Oh my god, guys. Daisy's been playing this game for like five minutes and no one has put her thumb down at all. Poor Daisy. Yes, I got picked as a picker. Say that three times fast. Picked as a picker. Picked as a picker. Okay. Hands up, seven up. Fine. No one's going to pick me. Yeah, because you're peeking too much. She wanted to get me so many times, this girl with this cool outfit on. Oh, Daisy picked this girl. Do you think you're right, Daisy? Yes, I'm positive I'm right. Molly, are we going to play Heads Up 7 Up? Yeah, but first I want to go into this cafeteria because, hello, snacks. Wait, why is that door locked? They're not letting anyone go in and get any snacks. What? What kind of game is this anyway? There's no snacks. Molly, just concentrate on Heads Up 7 Up so you don't get caught. Oh, M.G. I just wanted a snack. That's so rude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need a peek. I think I just missed who actually caught me, though. Oh, let me see. Oh, I just saw her leggings and... Oh, you were caught. You can't peek right now. All right, I saw her leggings and her shoes, but I'm not sure if that's actually who caught me or not. Like, who put my thumb down? But, um... Guys, uh, that's going to be my best guess. See, there she is with her leggings. Daisy, who are you picking? Um, I'm not really sure because, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't decide. You incorrectly guessed your picker? Oh, how annoying. Oh, her outfit's adorable. I know, right? With a little duck on it? That is so cute. Okay, you're a guesser. You'll need to guess on who may pick you. You may peek, but don't get caught. I'm just peeking the whole time. <gasps> there's a girl with the leggings, and there... Okay. There's the ducky girl. <laughs> it was a ducky girl! Oh my gosh, guys. I'm, like, so positive this time. It was the duck shirt girl. I, I just know that's who it was. How about you, Daisy? Did you get picked? No! No one's picking me! I'm so unpopular! Oh, Daisy, I'm sorry about that. Everyone thinks I'm a nerd, a dog. Oh, Daisy, um, I'll definitely head up 7 up you. Okay, guys, uh, I know it was Duck Girl. I know it was the Duck Girl shirt. Because I really peaked, like, so much. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't even get caught. What? Wrong guess. I know it was her. Molly, <laughs> you're terrible at this game, says the girl who never gets picked. Whoa, she's doing a weird dance. <laughs> I just want to be a picker one time. And I don't mean pick my nose. All right, I'm peeking this entire time. I don't care. I'm not. Okay. Come on, pick me. Pick me, pick me. Oh, I was caught peeking. Oh. Duck girl caught me peeking. All right, I'm peeking again. No one's picking me because I'm peeking. Okay, fine. Oh, it's leggings girl. Oh, she caught me too. <laughs> no one picked me. Ah. Oh. Bummer. Daisy, did you get picked? No, I still haven't got picked. Oh my God, guys. Daisy's been playing this game for like five minutes and no one has put her thumb down at all. Poor Daisy. Yes, I got picked as a picker. Say that three times fast. Picked as a picker. Picked as a picker. Okay. Hands up, seven up. Don't you dare peek. At you. Oh, ah, ha, ha, we cute. Ah, ha, 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 I caught you. 
Okay, wait, it's, is it letting me pick the... That, like, I pushed Q when they were cheating, but I don't know if that worked. All right, guys, let's see if anybody guessed me. Ooh. Somebody guessed me already, Marty. I'm gonna be a picker again. I just wanna, like, trick everybody and win heads up seven up forever. <laughs> Daisy, is that who you... You were correctly guessed on. Be more sneaky next time. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, go figure. I'm a guesser all again. Uh -oh. So am I, Molly, but, you know, it's okay. They can see when you're, like, looking at them, though. That's, like, the hardest part, because you just want to, like, peek at them, but you're like, oh, come on. I just want to know who you are. I just have to get them one time to choose me. Ah, she keeps wanting to pick me. Come on, pick me. Come on, come on, come on. No one's going to pick me. Yeah, because you're peeking too much. She wanted to get me so many times. This girl with this cool outfit on. Oh, Daisy picked this girl. Do you think you're right, Daisy? Yes, I'm positive I'm right. I wish I was this good at heads up seven up. Daisy, you were right. I know, I totally was. Molly, um, you got picked. I know, I was busy eating some chips and um, I'm just gonna pick this girl because I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Molly, try to pay attention. Oh, you picked the wrong one again. Oh. Marty, quit eating Doritos. You need to win some of these games. <laughs> but the Doritos are so good. Mm. So good. Why is that guy looking at me like that? Because he knows you're terrible at this game. He's got that look on his face like, holy guacamole, she stinks. Hey! Yeah, it's true. You do stink. Oh, I'm a guesser again. Oh, come on. Why me? Somebody better come pick me, and I'm gonna peek at you the minute you do. Come on, I dare you, peek at me. Pick me. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Now no one's gonna pick me. Ah! Let's play a role play after this, Daisy. At least I'm not bad at that. I'm really good at role plays. Um, yeah, that's because you don't need to, like, jump on anything in, like, an abbey or anything like that. Um, okay, no one chose me. That's just sad. Let's see if they picked me right, though. <coughs> no one actually even picked you, Daisy. You got promoted. You swapped with a picker. The picker did not pick someone in time. Huh! <laughs> I win by default! I think I'm okay with that, though. Seriously, though. I think I'm okay with it. Okay, so basically this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna run around and just, like, pretend I'm picking people when I'm not going to. But, Molly, you have to pick somebody. Oh, I've got to stand there? How long do I have to stand there? Okay, it did pick him. Okay, good. Oh, I'm trying to psych everybody out. That's what everybody does, so nobody wins this game, like, ever. Okay! Who's gonna pick me? Oh, gosh. I think he picked me already. Oh, two people picked me. Ah! Guys! I guess I'm not very good at being a picker either. Oh, Molly. What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> um, never play heads up seven up with me unless you wanna win. Because you will win every single time against me. Wow. Hey <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Guys, if you feel sorry for Molly, slam the like button. She's terrible at this. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna actually guess the right person. You got caught peeking. Okay, whatever. How else am I supposed to win this game if I don't ever get, like, peek? Come on, pick me. I dare ya. I dare ya. I dare ya. 
That girl with the frog on her head keeps coming over. She wants to pick me. See? There she is. Ah! Oh, she caught me peeking! <laughs> OMG. Oh! I think it was the, um... The girl with the frog on her head that got me that time, guys. I really do, because she was running by my desk. That's my pick. Let's see what everyone else chose. Okay. Someone chose Daisy. Oh, someone decided not to. Okay, I'm, I'm choosing her because, like, nobody's choosing anyone. They're waiting to see what everyone else picked. Yes! Finally, I got my point! Molly, I hope this isn't the end of the round. Well, you don't get to be a pickle. <laughs> Look at me, though. I finally got one. Molly, yay! You finally get to be a pickle! Oh, guys, have you ever played Heads Up 7-Up? This is harder than it looks, okay? Like, a lot harder. Ooh. All right, guys, I just picked someone like mega fast. And now I'm just like trying to confuse everybody. Oh, cute. Ha ha ha, caught you. Wah, 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 time out for you. <laughs> Daisy, we're pickers together. I know, it's so awesome, right? Oh, look it. The, that guy always thinks I pick him. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. I didn't pick you. Yes, I was super secretive. <laughs> I might win this round as well. It looks like I am gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I survived. No one guessed you correctly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Molly is so excited that she's doing well at Heads Up 7 of. Oh, my God. I'm a winner again. Look at winner. Yes. Seven more coins. Oh, finally. I'm getting good at Heads Up 7 Up. Molly, come on, let's order that pizza. Okay, I finally feel ready to order that pizza because I won the last few rounds. I'm so proud of myself. You should be, Molly. Congratulations. Thanks, Daisy. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of liotomy. Liotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch liotomy. My enemy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and and and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy jumpy about that liotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey Brookie, come on in. Hey Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I, I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh-oh! Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as, it, as you think, but I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're going to move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not, like, moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live, like, right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then! Yeah, I know, but I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Brookie... I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, 
Maybe it was about having amnesia, because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I, I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't live without you. Yes, I, I can. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? <sighs> no, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now, please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Brookie, but... But don't leave me for long! Wow! Rookie's parents are really rich! Hey Molly, come on in! Welcome to our new house! Holy macaroni and cheese! What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one! This town is so cool! Look, we even have our own movie theater! <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole! Molly, so tell me the truth! Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just, like, don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different, like, out of our school and a different school for, like, a week, and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well, what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie! Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? So which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly! That hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home. Said you go to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And, and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. I can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my pirouettes. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care. You're on my snap. No. Uh, well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly, tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom 
ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine. <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Mm, that's a good ice cream. <laughs> Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, get out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Boogie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, didn't, I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by that. I saw this um, thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, you still want to be a friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be triplets. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here. Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. 
Do she does it, she lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hands before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear, lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well, this is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but... In order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed when I'm trying to be a doctor. Ow, did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. <laughs> How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no. But I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. Feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I don't wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh, no! Well, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's for my bean burrito. <laughs> Oh, Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Boogie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied. But it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait. I was wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you. Please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you writing to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been... My BFF since then. How will I ever? A few minutes later. Live without you. Maddie, just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. That's a little, like, cat emoji. Um. Or a dog, maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait. I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always got to pay for it? Oh, my God. I think she sent me a heart. Did I send her a heart? Yeah, Molly. She sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Oh, uh, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy. And, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you've caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! <laughs> Molly, don't you?
you have some chores or something to do? Nope, just chilling on the couch with you, Dad. Um, yeah, but you should be doing chores or homework or something. No, Dad, I'm being a couch potato. A couch potato? What are you talking about? There's, we, we don't allow cou couch potatoes in this house. Dad, you're a couch potato, and I learned from the best. Ah, <sighs> so full of strawberry milkshake. So full! Okay, well, do as I say, not as I do. What? No, Dad, lead by example. Ugh, sometimes you're too smart for your own good, Molly. Now, go do your homework. I've got to go out and mow the lawn. Okay, I'll do my homework in a little while. Hi, Dad, I already did my homework! Great job, Daisy! Wouldn't expect anything less from you! Molly, Dad told you to do your homework. I will, I'll get around to it eventually. Mmm, you know what I'd like? Some ice cream. Molly, you just ate a strawberry milkshake! Yeah, I know, but I'm still a little hungry. You just said you were so full! I know, but I have this little tiny spot right here in my stomach that's still hungry. Hey, girls! Oh, I just got back from my morning jog. Oh, wow, that sounds very motivated, Mom. <laughs> I just got done drinking a strawberry milkshake. It was delicious. Um, girls, I need you to do your homework and your chores. La, 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 la. Dad already told us all that stuff. We know. Okay, Molly. I already did my homework. I I'll do my chores. Um, as soon as I finish brushing my teeth and stuff. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Just chilling. Molly, you can't just sit here all day long. Why? Seems like a good idea to me. La, 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 la. Daisy, you're in front of the television. I love this. This commercial is great. Molly, I'm trying to do my chores. I don't really care about watching a commercial you've seen a million other times. Well, I care, Daisy. I care. Molly, you're going to get so fat. You keep eating all that bad food for you. Uh-huh. Mm. That's my game plan. To be epically huge and never leave the couch. Molly, you really are going to be a couch potato. I'm working on it. I'm working very hard at it. Oh, that lawn was so huge. Oh, too much grass to mow. Molly, can you get me a drink? <coughs> Molly, need water. Oh. Dad, are you okay? Water. Oh, I already thought you might need some water. Here you go, Dad. Oh, Daisy, thank you. Thank you so much. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Well, would you expect Molly to not be snoring on the couch after not doing any chores or any homework? All she did was eat junk food and watch TV all day. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from her either. Why doesn't anybody expect Molly to do the things that I have to do? Well, Daisy, you're just a good kid. We know you are. Well, why isn't Molly expected to be a good kid? Um, because she's, um, Molly. That's not really fair! So yeah, then the instructor said that I was accepted into the dance school this summer. Whoa, Brookie, that's amazing! I'm so happy for you! Molly, you better get off the phone! It's 9 o'clock and it's time for bed! You haven't even done your night routine! Who's that in the background? That's just my annoying sister! Sorry, Brookie, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Molly, I'm not annoying! Fine, whatever. Um, so, does that mean we can't hang out this summer? Yeah, for like three weeks I'm going to be at the school. Oh, man, I'm going to miss you so much, Brookie. I'm going to miss you too, Molly. Molly, are you ever going to get off that phone? I'm trying to go to sleep. Well, Brookie, I've got to go. My annoying sister wants me to get off the phone. Okay, well, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye! Daisy, you are so rude! Ew, Molly, what's that smell coming out of your mouth? What? What smell? Ew, have you brushed your teeth today? Um, no. Oh. Did you eat a tuna fish sandwich? Uh, yeah. Ew, Molly, your breath stinks horrible. Brush your teeth. And you know what? I'm really sick of being the one that's a good kid and does all the homework and the chores, brushes her teeth, goes to bed on time, and you're naughty and you get away with it. Wow. I never thought about that. Mom and Dad think you're the good daughter? Yeah, you're the naughty one! And they don't even care. Wow. I don't want to be the naughty one. I want to be a good daughter, too. That's it. I'm turning over a new leaf.
First I'll brush my teeth. Then I'll do my homework. Take a bath. Ah, that's very relaxing actually. Even do my chores. Ah, I'm exhausted. Ah, ah. Time for bed. Good morning, girls. Time to get up. Ugh, I ate way too much last night. Huh? What? Too tired. Too tired. Girls, come on, wake up. Daisy, um, as usual, I need you to vacuum the floors and make sure all your schoolwork is done. I have a very early work meeting today, and no eating junk food. Mom, my stomach kind of hurts. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll feel better if you just get up and get moving. Uh, okay, if you say so. Ugh, I'm so sick of being the good one. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have eaten those Doritos last night before bed. <laughs> I'm not going to be the good one anymore. Uh-uh, I'm eating cheesy snacks in my bed. I'm going to leave crumbs everywhere. Doritos for breakfast? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Daisy, oh, I was up really late. Go back to bed. Molly, it's time to wake up. Says the good sister to the naughty one. We're not for long. Ugh, it's not even seven yet. I'm so tired. Whatever, Molly. I'm just chilling on the couch. Huh? Who are you and what have you done with my sister? What are you talking about, Molly? I'm always lazy. What? No, you're not. Right now you'll be doing chores and schoolwork and eating a healthy breakfast. Well, I didn't eat a healthy breakfast. Listen to my stomach. Oh, why is it making that weird noise? Because I ate Doritos for breakfast. Doritos for breakfast? Okay, you really are an alien. What have you done with Daisy? I'm Daisy, and I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm sick of being the good one all the time while you get away with being naughty. I'm not naughty anymore. I don't like being naughty. I'm going to go finish up my chores. I got a little tired last night, and I couldn't finish them all, so I'm going to mop the bathroom. Yeah, whatever, Molly. No, I really am. Then I'm going to just clean the toilet. Nobody likes that job. Nobody. Stinky doo-doos. Yuck. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go have a healthy breakfast. A healthy breakfast? Yeah, right, Molly. Molly, you eating an apple? Speaking of aliens, you must be one. My sister would never eat an apple for breakfast. I told you, Daisy. I don't like being the naughty one anymore. I kind of want to be the good daughter, or at least one of the good daughters. Whatever. Being the good daughter's overrated. Trust me. I'm going to go lay back on the couch. Um, when's mom coming home? Who cares? Don't know. Okay, I guess I'll finish up the laundry then. I guess it's not so bad to be a good a good daughter. I mean, <laughs> it's fun to be naughty sometimes, but why won't this washer open? Okay, maybe I gotta put the laundry down. Okay, there we go. Couldn't even get it open, <laughs> which tells you how much I do chores. Girls, I'm home. Okay, I better put this laundry in really quick. I want it to be done for mom Um, by the time she like, well, she's already home, so it can't be done by then, but... I want it to be done in like 30 minutes, so that way um, she doesn't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I have to close up the refrigerator too. Mom's going to be so proud of me when she sees all the stuff I've done. What is going on? There are Dorito crumbs all over the floor and on the couch. And girls, I thought you were supposed to be working on that science project. Um, yeah, I, 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 it was Molly. Mom, she, she left all the Doritos and, and also, she didn't do the laundry or clean or anything like she was supposed to. And I'm sick of it. Why do I always have to do everything? And by the way, I also cleaned and then she made it messy again. What? You made it messy after this, your sister already cleaned? No, I didn't, Daisy. I cleaned and then Daisy made these messes. She ate the Doritos for breakfast. Molly, come on. We know that you're always the one that eats naughty things for breakfast, leaves crumbs everywhere, and your sister does all the chores. You're always the naughty one. But, but I turned over a new leaf, Mom. I wasn't the naughty one this time. Really? Well, then what are all these crumbs all over the floor doing? 
Um, they came out of Daisy's mouth when she was recklessly eating Doritos. I don't waste Doritos. You wouldn't find a lot of crumbs on the floor if it was me. Oh, Molly, stop with these excuses. I think you should be grounded. Your sister's right. She shouldn't have to do all the chores just for you to mess them up. But I did the chores while she laid on the couch. And then she messed them up. Molly, I don't believe you. You're the naughty daughter. What? But, but, but. Molly, you're grounded. Go to your room, please. It wasn't even my fault. Daisy, you're evil. Aww. I can't believe my sister blamed it on me. My mom believed her. <laughs> I mean, I know I've been naughty in the past, but I really was trying to be a good daughter. <laughs> hey, Molly, what's up? It's all your fault. You're rude. Now you know what it really feels like to be the naughty daughter. Yeah, I do, Molly. And now you know what I feel like being the good daughter. Oh, this stinks. <laughs> Daisy, you have to tell her the truth. You know you can't be naughty forever. Watch me, Molly. Watch me. <laughs> wow. My sister has gone to the dark side. Whoa, Molly. Your outfit for school looks so cool today. Where'd you get that? Um, I saved up my allowance and I bought it from the mall. Wow, I actually really like it, which is surprising because usually your fashion is, well... So last season. Oh, don't sound like a, such a snob, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Molly. You look great. Thanks, Daisy. Girls, would you like some pancakes or something for breakfast? Don't you know it. That sounds delicious, Mom. Mmm, I'm getting hungrier just thinking about it. Well, too bad. I All I have is waffles. Oh. Huh. Well, waffles will do. That sounds good, too. Wow, Molly's in a really good mood. It must be her new outfit. I know. Doesn't she look so cute in it? Yeah, I really do feel pretty in it. Thanks. Maybe you could do something different with your hair, too. Just for a change. Mm, that's delicious. Nah, my hair is good enough. I keep thinking that I want to do something different with mine. I mean, the pigtails are cute, but what else is out there? There's a whole world of hell that I've never explored before. <laughs> Daisy, you're so crazy when it comes to fashion. Oh, no. There's the bus. Oh, Molly, you're going to have to take your waffle to go. Nonsense. I can eat it super fast. Watch this. See? Told you I could eat it super fast. Lightning speed! <laughs> Molly, why are you sitting on top of the school bus? That's so dangerous! Well, why are you driving it? Because it's Bookhaven. Anything can happen here. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually early to school. That's what happens when I don't make the bus late. <laughs> My bad. Come on, let's get to English class. La 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 Ta da! Molly is awesome. What? Who wrote that on the board? Must be the principal. They just know I'm so cool. Wait a minute. Isn't this the room that they have detention in? Yeah. Weren't you in detention last night? Uh. Yes. You wrote that on the board so we'd all see it this morning. Molly is awesome. Pfft, whatever. Whoa. Look at Charlotte's hair. If you didn't know, Charlotte is the new popular girl at my school. Sarah. Absolutely hates that she's so popular and beautiful, but we just think she's nice and super cool. Hey guys, good morning. Hey Charlotte, I love your purple hair. It looks amazing with your makeup and your outfit. I love it too. I was just thinking I could do something cool like that with my hair. Don't even bother, it's not that cool. Sarah, you're just jealous because Charlotte has beautiful purple hair and you don't. I would never dye my hair purple. That's like the dumbest thing ever. That's not very nice. Yeah, Sarah, that's not very nice, especially since she looks amazing. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm just ignoring the negativity. <laughs> that's what I do on social media, too. Whenever somebody says something mean on my TikTok, I'm like, whatever. You're such a keyboard troll. Yeah, exactly. Later that day. School's out forever. Well, not forever. Just till tomorrow, but I'll take it. Freedom! The smell of the air. 
The look of the sky when you don't have to go to school. Uh, Molly, I have to run to the store for a few things. I'll be home later. Really? Uh, could you pick me up a chocolate bar? Sorry, Molly, can't. I have to spend my money on something else. Ugh, but I really want a chocolate bar. Dear Brookhaven game developer, why is there no CVS in this entire town? We people of Brookhaven need a drugstore. Thankfully, Brookhaven Grocery Store does have hair dye. And I know exactly the color I'm going to pick. <laughs> a few hours later. <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to eat this bean burrito as a snack. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Leftover bean burritos from last night's dinner make the perfect after school snack. I can't even talk. The, the, the smell of it is just... Mm, it's going to make me like... Pass out, it smells so good. Molly, you are so obsessed with bean burritos. Ay, ay, ay. Where have you been, Daisy? I told you I had to go to the store. Okay, well, um, I hope you got me a chocolate bar. I didn't. Ugh, you're the worst sister ever. Just kidding, you're a good sister. Just why can't you buy me things when I ask you to? Because I'm not your mother. <laughs> what will I look like with purple hair? I mean, I'm kind of afraid. I've had these pigtails and this color hair since I was a baby. I don't know if I'm going to look weird. I, I, I'm getting cold feet. I'm not sure that I could do this. It just seems like, I don't know, it won't be me anymore. Get it together, Daisy. You can do this. You're a fashionista. You, you can be as cool as Charlotte, the most popular girl at school. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. I'll die it. Oh, well, I don't feel so good. Oh, why did I eat three, be three bean burritos? I could have just ate one, but no. My eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach. <laughs> oh, there. There, I feel better. Oh, no. Nope. Gotta go. Gotta go, poo-poo. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. Sorry, Molly. Occupy. Daisy, seriously. I ate a bean burrito and I... <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> oh, Molly. No way, you're not poo-pooing in here. I gotta spend some time in here. That's gross. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll light a candle or something. Come on, open the door. Molly, I said I'm busy. Daisy! Molly, get out! Daisy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Molly! What? I have to go! Ay, ay, ay. Hurry up, I've got things to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be here a minute. Ugh. Every time I promise myself... I won't eat any more bean burritos. This is exactly what happens. And every time, I do it again. And again and again. Oh, oh, oh. Dear God, I promise I'll never eat a bean burrito again. J just make my stomach stop feeling like it's going to explode. Molly, are you done in there yet? Did you eat another three bean burritos? Yes. And I'm being in real trouble for it. <sighs> okay. I think I'm done. Nope, not done. Hmm, that took a lot of work. Maybe I should go eat that last bean burrito. Molly, what are you doing? I'm gonna go eat a bean burrito. I'm hungry. Molly, don't you dare eat another bean burrito. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm gonna dye my hair. What, purple? Yeah, but I'm afraid. I feel like everyone would tease me. Well, they might. Molly, thanks for the vote of confidence. But... Since you're afraid to do it alone, I'll dye mine purple too. Really? You do that for me? Of course, we're sisters. And even though I find you super duper uber annoying. Molly. Well, I do. You're still my sister. I love you. And you're one of my bestest friends. Aw, ditto, Molly. You're my best friend too. Well, besides Brookie. Yeah, besides Brookie. But anyway, we can dye our hair purple together and walk into school together. Wow, Molly. This means a lot to me. Thank you. You're probably going to need a mask and some um, stuff on your hands so it doesn't dye your hands purple. Why? You don't want your hands to match your hair? That'd be so cool. Trust me, Molly. This dye would never come off. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, maybe we ought to wait a half an hour. It kind of stinks in here. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Just enough time to eat another bean burrito. Don't even think about it. Well, Daisy, are you ready for this? The big purple hair reveal? I don't know, Molly. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. We're cool as 
anything. We're like cool as Charlotte even. I mean, we have purple hair now too. Yeah, but what if people tease us? Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. You look amazing. Come on. What is going on here? We have purple hair. Okay, you got my attention for like one second, losers. Ugh, oh, you look ridiculous. You're gonna be the laughing stock of the school. <laughs> what? I, I thought I looked good. Daisy, don't listen to her. She's going to in infect you with her evil words. Stop talking to us this way, Sarah. It's not nice. You look like a grape head. What's a grape head? What is that even? It's like the grapes you get at the store, only on your head. Sarah! That was rude! Get out of my way, grape head. I don't want to be late for class. Ugh, Sarah! Good morning, Molly! Whoa, your hair! It looks amazing! Wait, what's wrong? Why does your face look so angry? Because I am so angry! At me? What did I do? No, not you, Perky. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to seem like I was angry at you. I'm just angry because... <sighs> Daisy in the bathroom crying right now. She's so sad and hurt. Really? Why? Because Sarah teased us about our hair. I wasn't even going to dye my hair this color. I just did to support Daisy because she was so nervous when she came to school that everyone was going to tease her and her worst nightmare came true. Whoa, that's not okay, Molly. Not okay at all. Well... What am I going to do about it? I mean, it's Sarah. Don't worry, Molly. I'm going to help my BFF out. Definitely. Really? Of course, Molly. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure that it's all handled. So much on the agenda. So many school board meetings. Ugh. Ugh. When is it going to be the weekend? Excuse me, um, principal? Yes, Brookie. What can I do for you, honey? Um, I have to talk to you. I need to report some bullying. What? Someone is bullying in our school? Yes, and I'm sorry to report, but it's really bad. Oh my gosh, this sounds terrible. Tell me what's going on so I can report it. You mean record it? I mean, I'm reporting it to you and you're the principal. Who will you report it to? Oh yeah, <laughs> right, I'm recording it. Sorry, I haven't had my morning coffee. No problem, Principal. You see, my friends Molly and Daisy, they dyed their hair purple. Daisy was very nervous about coming to school and getting teased, but she wanted to dye it. And when Sarah saw them, she called Daisy ugly. And when they asked her to stop, she wouldn't stop. What? This is a serious bullying offense. I will speak to Sarah and handle this. Thank you for coming and reporting this so I could record it on her record. Um, thank you, Principal, for helping me and my friends. I'm always here for you. Never forget that. Students can always come to me if they have a problem. Thank you, Principal. Have a great day, Brookie. You too. Hope you get some coffee. Attention, attention. Will Sarah please report to the principal's office? Sarah to the principal's office. Ah, oh, now I have to put this record into Sarah's permanent record. This is not good. What do you want? Well, first of all, a better attitude would be wonderful. But I can't ask for too much, I guess. Second of all, were you bullying Molly and Daisy Acker about their purple hair? Well, yeah, it looks lame. So you admit that you were actually bullying them. Uh, I didn't think it was bullying. It was just telling the truth. Sarah, sometimes you're telling the truth is rude and bullying. And I have no choice but to give you detention for a week. Wait, what? Yeah, detention for an entire week. I hope this makes you think twice about bullying your classmates. This is so unfair! Well, don't bully and you won't get detention. And I am making a note of this on your permanent school record. Oh, seriously? My dad's going to have a fit. He's not even going to let me drive the Ferrari to school. Well, he'll probably ground you. And you may deserve it, right? Because you were bullying? Fine. Now go back to class and try to have a good day. And I'll try to do the same. Ah, <sighs> where's my coffee? Oh, look, there's purple-haired Daisy. I'd hold your tongue, Sarah, unless you want another week of detention. Uh, it looks great. Really? You think so? Sarah. Um, it, it, uh, okay, I'm just gonna do my homework. Um, okay, yeah, me too. 
Thanks for not bullying me for a change. I'm so glad that I could help my friends. Good morning. Ugh, this alarm clock is so annoying. How do I turn this off? <laughs> Molly, it's not your alarm clock. It's me, Mom. Good morning. Wow, my alarm clock sounds just like my annoying mom. Molly, I'm not annoying. I'm your mom. Huh, what? Oh, sorry about that, Mom. Molly, it's time for school. Go on, brush your teeth, come downstairs, Get ready for school, okay? Okay, Mom. What do you think you say? Molly, did not get back into that bed. Okay, Molly, I guess you just won't have pancakes. Mm. I'm up, I'm up. Good morning, lazy bones. Whatever. You get up early and that's your choice because you're crazy. Gonna beat you downstairs. <laughs> Molly, get out of the way. <laughs> beat you. I get one more pancake because I beat Daisy. Um, uh, Molly, that's not how that works. It's how it works. It ha it's how, Mom. I get one more pancake because I made it down the stairs before she did. <laughs> oh, really? Well, when you get detention, does that mean I get to eat your dessert tonight because you won't be home? Huh? What? No. Seems pretty fair to me. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Ditto, Molly. Holy guacamole, these look amazing. Molly, why'd you just throw your pancakes on the floor? Um, oopsie. Sometimes this game just like throws the pancakes around. I don't really know why. Roblox glitch. Mm, Mom, these pancakes are out of this world. Yeah, Mom, they are pretty good. I want some more. Molly, are you sure? You might get a stomachache if you eat too many, especially with that much syrup and butter. Nah, I've got a stomach like a billy goat. I literally could eat some tin cans if I wanted to. <laughs> I could just see you eating some tin cans. <laughs> More cans. Still hungry, bat. I like to Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, Molly. I can definitely see you as a goat. What? Nothing. <laughs> All right, girls, time for school. Molly, stop eating so many pancakes. You really are going to get a stomach ache. What? No, I'm not. Mm, that's really good. Molly, you're going to explode. I thought we already talked about this. I have a stomach like a billy goat. I'm taking the rest with me. Bye, Mom. Have a great day. Bye, girls. Can't believe you're still eating those pancakes. Hey, guys, just making a snap because I think my outfit is adorable today. Um, that's the outfit you wear, like, every single day, Brookie. <laughs> yeah, but I still love it. That's why I wear it every day. Okay, if you say so. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. Molly, are you eating your pancakes at school? Are you just supposed to eat those at home? She already did eat three platefuls at home. Oh, I got a snap. It's from my friend, Brookie. <laughs> There's me in the background eating so many pancakes. All right, I'm going to reply to her. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> good morning, a good morning, good morning. This is Principal Boopity Boop on the microphone. Yeah, yeah. You guys know I love talking on the intercom. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you that two of our teachers are out sick today. So our math class will be run by a substitute teacher. I expect you all to behave. If not, I'll see you in the principal's office. <laughs> Good morning, class. You probably remember me from substituting at another time. I miss Bellevue. Oh, no. More like Miss Beehive. Look at that hair. I'm sure bees will swarm out of there at any minute. Good morning, Miss Bellevue. I don't like students who try to be a teacher's pet. <laughs> what? I was just saying good morning. You seem like teacher's pet material. 
Well, <laughs> she does have a point there. Yeah, Daisy. Try not to just be like, oh, I am Daisy, I'm the best student in the whole world. If you think for even one minute, you're not gonna do all your work plus extra. You've never met me before. This is going to be the longest math class of my life. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, what time is lunch? I'm starving. Molly, you just ate four plates of pancakes. I don't want to hear another word out of you. You. I remember you. Is it because I'm a famous YouTuber? Oh, I can sign your autograph if you want. Molly, I don't think that's exactly what she remembers you by. You are the most rapid student that ever was. Wow, harsh lady. Now zip your lips and get started on your math. Um, okay. These little brats. <laughs> Molly, what's so funny? You're gonna get in trouble. Did you just hear that? Miss Beehive farted. <laughs> Molly, seriously, be quiet. You're gonna get detention with her. I can't stop laughing. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, what did she eat a sauerkraut sandwich for breakfast? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you laughing right now? No laughing in math class. Whoa, harsh. Huh. I don't know if that stinky toot or I ate too many pancakes. I hate to admit that, but my stomach kind of hurts. Molly, are you okay? I hear your stomach rumbling all the way back here. Are you really hungry again? I thought it was, but now my stomach feels kind of sick. Uh-oh. Maybe you should go to the nurse's office. Yeah, maybe I should. Excuse me, Miss Beehive. I miss, mean Miss Bellevue. Um, my stomach kind of hurts, and I need to go to the, to the school nurse. What? No one is allowed to leave my class. Well, I am if I have a stomach ache. Excuses, excuses. Can I at least go to the bathroom? I think I might need to. Please. I don't have to go to the bathroom in class. Well, uh, maybe you should have because that fart you left was really unfriendly. What? Get to your seat right away before you get detention for a year. Uh, okay. Molly, are you okay? No, I really don't feel good. I, I feel like I might throw up. Oh, Molly, did she say you can't go to the nurse's office? Yeah. Should I try to text my mom? If you take out your phone in this class, she's definitely going to give you in-school suspension. Can you imagine spending every waking moment with that woman for an entire week? No, not really. I really have to go to the bathroom. Excuse me, Miss Bellevue, please. I need to go, I need to go to the nurse. You are a faker. There's nothing wrong with you. Now go sit down. Uh, Miss Bellevue, Molly doesn't look so good. I don't feel so good. Oh my God, she's gonna blow. What are you doing, child? I'm puking on your desk. I am not amused! Go to the nurse's office! Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I think I might throw up again. Oh. Nurse's office? Toilet. Nurse's office? Toilet! Definitely need to go to the toilet. Oh. Why is the door not opening? Excuse me, there's someone in here. Don't be rude. Sorry. How about this one? Um, I'm going to the bathroom. God. Ah! I can't hold it. Oh, I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh, God. Oh, God. Blech. Ew, gross. Yeah, that is gross. Couldn't you throw up somewhere else? No. You're taking up the bathroom. Oh, my. What's wrong with you? Wait a minute. You're the one that always fakes being sick. Did you paint your skin green? Huh? No. I threw up on my teacher's desk. Mrs. Beehive. What? You threw up on Miss Beehive's desk? Oh, man. She was a substitute teacher when I was a kid. Oh, 
I can't believe she's still alive. Yeah, me either. She's like a vampire or something. So what seems to be the problem today? Remind me of your name? Molly. You'd think I remembered that since you're in here so much. Here, lay down on the magic cot and I'll see what I can do. Can you see about making me stop throwing up? Oh, sweetie, is that what's going on? Here, let me see if I can go get you a mask because I definitely don't want the stomach bug. Hmm, oh, I'm all out of masks. Well, this will have to do. There we go. Keep your germs to yourself, I always say. Lady, you put a paper bag over my head and I'm gonna throw up. Oh no, I better call your mom. Stat, too late. I threw up all over my paper bag. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm calling your mom now. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Acker. This is the school nurse. Oh no, not again. She's, she's faking it. I am not, Mom. I'm throwing up. Your daughter is throwing up quite a lot. She even threw up through her paper bag. Wait, what? Threw up through her paper bag? What are you talking about? Never mind. I was on a face mask. It's a long story. She probably just ate too many pancakes. She was a total pig this morning at breakfast. Mom, it's not that. Oh, tell her to come get me, please. Okay, Molly. I'm sad to hear she's actually sick. I never know with her. Sometimes she fakes it. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, Mrs. Acker. She's down here at least twice a month. Or like twice a week. Well, <laughs> depends on if I missed my homework or not. Oopsie. <gasps> Molly. Oh my gosh. You look terrible. I mean, I think you do. You're wearing that bag on your head, so it's kind of hard to tell. I'm dying. I feel terrible. <laughs> it's okay, Molly. Come on, let's get in the car and go home. Okay. Uh, if I can move. Am I moving? Mm, no, Molly. How about now? Come on. I'll give you a piggyback ride. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Anything for you, Molly. I'm so sad you're sick, honey. Me too. Oh. If I recall, you were just sick like, what, not even a month ago? Yeah, and I caught something else. You know what this means? School is full of germs. I probably shouldn't go to school anymore. <laughs> nice try, Molly. Nice try. Mom, did you just, ow, did you just drop me? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Sometimes when I teleport in Roblox, it doesn't quite work the way I thought it would. Can you get up on your own, Molly? Uh, nope, I've fallen and I can't get up. Or is it that I've been dropped and I can't get up? Sorry about that. It was a glitch in the game. I swear it. I'm not a bad mom. Molly, are you in your room? Yeah, I'm in here, mom. Oh, I got the thermometer, honey. Let's take your temperature, okay? Whoa! 103! You better lay down right away, honey. I would, if I didn't have to run to the bathroom again! Oh man, oh man I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! Huh, I made it. Wait a minute. Where's the toilet? Mom! Who stole the toilet? Oh, uh, yeah. Dad had to take that out this morning because it was leaking. What? We don't have a toilet? Oh God, oh God. Well, I guess I could just, uh, uh-oh, clean up, aisle number seven. Yeah. Okay, Molly, just try to get some sleep. That's what's going to make everything better, I promise. Uh, and now I'll go clean up the bathroom. <laughs> Brookie, is that you? This illness has made me blind. Really, Molly? No, just kidding. But it has really, really stunk a whole lot. Molly, I wanted to make you a get well soon card, but Miss Beehive wouldn't let me. She said you were an evil student for puking on her desk. Yeah, sounds like her. So instead, I brought you all your homework. What? Is that some sort of cruel prank? Uh, no, there's a lot of it too. <laughs> you still have to do your homework even when you're out of school sick. Huh, what? No, that doesn't seem right. You mean I have to poo-poo and puke every five seconds and also try to do uh, all my math problems? Uh, no, that's not happening. It's the school policy. I brought you your homework anyway. That's not a gift. 
Oh, sorry, Molly. Do you want a popsicle or anything before I leave? Did you just talk about food? Oh, oh my God, Molly, don't throw up. Please, not on me. Sorry, Brookie, I'll see you later. I have to go to the bathroom again. And this time I have to go to the master bathroom because last time I went to the guest bath and there was no toilet and well, things got a little bit crazy town. Well, won't this toilet lid open? What, what's wrong with this toilet? Ah! results say doctor what did this the test results say oh yeah the test results are in and it looks like we're gonna have to remove your daughter's four stomachs <laughs> what four stomachs what's that doesn't she have one? Oh, F O R E, four stomachs <laughs> they're the stomachs before you get to the actual stomach wait what like a goat <laughs> i knew she was pot goat what that's not right. Are you even a real doctor? Yeah, a doctor of animal medicine. <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> Why are you at the people hospital then? This is for humans. Well, they couldn't find anyone to cover the doctor's shift and he had to go on a cruise to the Bahamas. Something about being overworked or something. Get us a real doctor right now. My daughter's not a goat. Well, she does eat like one. Daisy. We have to find your sister a real doctor. Okay, okay, fine. I'll have the other doctor come in. We're really short-staffed, you know. You could have just used the veterinarian. Uh... Hold on, Molly. A real doctor's gonna come in this time. That treats humans, not goats. Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Steve. Are you a real doctor or do you take care of goats? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. We're shorthanded today. Look, I take a look at your daughter's test results, and it looks like she has appendicitis. What? Well, I guess that's an actual human disease. What are we going to do? Medicine? I'm afraid your daughter needs surgery to remove her appendix. Molly, oh no! Don't worry, this is a very routine surgery, and your sister will feel all better when it's done. Ah. Uh... Plus, she can eat as much ice cream as she wants when it's done. Did somebody say ice cream? Ah. Good luck, Molly. We love you. Your dad will be here any minute. I've already called him. Yeah, Molly, he's at his way. Ah. I love you all. I love you all. Molly, wake up. The surgery is over. Molly. Molly, wake up. Your surgery is over! Oh, what? Where? Where am I? Oh, I feel so weird. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh my god! They turned her into a goat! Oh no! The veterinarian must have done the surgery! Wait! What? <laughs> oh my god, Molly! I can't believe it! You overly put Billy Goat! I can't believe this. I've got to Snapchat it. Oh, there must be some sort of mistake. They could fix this, right? I don't know, Mom. I think Molly might be a goat forever. And also, she's not very good at Snapchat. Look at her. She can't even, like, like aim the Snapchat. Okay, you're rude. I'm going to bite your booty. Molly, be nice to your sister. I know you're a goat, and that's really hard and everything, but... Molly, wake up! 
You're back in your room. The surgery is over. Oh my god. I'm a goat. I'm a goat. <laughs> Must be the anesthesia still wearing off. Marley, you're not a goat. Where's my phone? Give me my phone. It's right here, Marley. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I a goat? Am I a goat? Ah! It's my regular face. Thank god. It's normal for the anesthesia to make your daughter feel a little bit crazy at times. It'll wear off soon enough. I have a special surprise for you, Molly! Um, okay, Dr. Steve, what is it? Tell me it's not that I'm a billy goat. No, it's your appendix in a jar. You want to take it home? Ew! Ew! Gross! Oh, really? I think it's cool. Sure, yeah, that belonged to me, so... Just never open it, because if you do, it'll make your entire house stink like a dead zombie. Okay, cool. Can I have all that ice cream now? You sure can. Oh, Molly, I'm so glad you're okay. Do I have to do homework? Yes, Molly. Everybody knows that even if you have your billy goat stomach taken out, you still have to do homework. What? <laughs> oh, that's the way of the world. <laughs> on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class. Um, everybody, come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange-yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. 
the the uh the class is over so uh, yeah i just need to go get a cup of coffee it's monday and my brain's not awake yet okay no problem mr jared phew i'm glad that math test is over quiz whatever whatever it was it was horrible and i don't ever want to take it ever again <laughs> time to get out my books from english class what's this it's a letter i wonder who it could be from Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean. My BFF is Sarah. At least she's honest. Oh my gosh. Rookie. Brittany doesn't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy! Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever! Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore! What?! Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in, the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must still be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend. And you've been that way since preschool. Since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over! Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you, can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset! Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my god! Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true! Oh look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me! Including my best friend! <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me! That's all anybody thinks I'm worth! Trash! <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers! And now she doesn't even like me anymore! <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie! I'm, I'm not even gonna look at it! I mean, why should I? She's... She's... Not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. Well, I guess I should go home and do all that homework. Ugh. I just wish my day would get better. I lost my best friend. Rookie? What are you doing here? Hi, Molly. Um, uh, I brought a pizza. Why'd you bring a pizza? I thought you don't want to be my friend anymore. Wait, what? I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore. Really? What's this letter say then? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't write that letter. Wait a minute. Did Sarah write this letter? Maybe. Why have you been hanging out with her then? You know she's a bully and I told you yesterday she was so mean to me. I was even crying on the phone and everything. I just thought if I was friends with Sarah, maybe, maybe since she doesn't have any friends, it would change her heart to good. She wouldn't be a bully anymore. Really? That's what you were trying to do? Thought if I won her over and was friendly to her, she wouldn't be mean to my BFF anymore. I hate to see you in pain, Molly. You were doing this all for me? Haha, <laughs> it really didn't seem that way. Sorry, Molly. I realized that the only person that can change Sarah is, well, Sarah. And it seems like she doesn't really want to change, so... Uh, I told her we can't be friends until she starts being nice again. Wow. Well, that's pretty amazing, Brookie. Thanks for sticking up for me like that. Is it okay if I come in? This pizza is getting really hot on my fingers. Oh, yeah! Sorry! Come on in! And uh, bring the pizza. I'm starving. <laughs> holy guacamole! I mean, holy pizza! This is delicious! I got it just for you, Molly, with my allowance. Oh, thanks, Brookie. 
You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. Ooh, something smells delicious. Glad to see you guys made up. So why didn't you respond to my text, Molly? I didn't even read it. Well, maybe I should read it now. Seems like you guys are BFFs again. Um, okay. Molly, I love you. You're my best friend. I'm sorry if you're hurting. Please talk to me so that I can help make it better. Oh, Crookie, it was seriously nice of you. Mm. But the nicest thing you've ever done is bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, Molly, I'll be your BFF until I'm old and gray. And I'll be yours, Brookie. And I'll be yours. Just woke up, and now I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos of my favorite Roblox games. Hey, why doesn't the Wi-Fi password work? What's going on? Mom, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. That's because, Molly, you're grounded. Wait, what? Yeah, remember yesterday you came home with another detention slip, and I grounded you for three days? But, but Mom, I'm trying to get, um, YouTube, I mean, yeah, and I'm telling you that you're grounded from YouTube and all electronics for three days. But, 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 Mom! Sorry, Molly. No can do. No electronics for three whole days. Maybe you'll take school a bit more seriously in the future. But I have to talk to Brookie! And, and then the only way I can is with electronics. Unless, of course, she comes over, but how will she know to come over if I don't call her or text her? Um, she can't come over, Molly. You're grounded. I can't even see my friends! This is like being in prison! Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much, Molly. I don't like my life right now. I don't like it. I like my life because I eat apple and I like apples. Well, good for you! Molly, don't snap at your baby sister. It's not her fault you got grounded. I know exactly what will make me feel better. Uh, 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 I don't think so. Not one more bite of that, Molly. Wait, what? Why? No sweets when you're grounded. You may choose to have an apple or a banana or some vegetables. This is like prison. You're even telling me what I can't, can and can't eat? Mom. I'm the mom here, so I'm in charge. Besides, it won't hurt you to eat healthy for a couple of days, Molly. It will. It will kill me, Mom. It will kill me. See, Mom? I'm dead. I'm dead, Mom. I'm dead. Oh, Molly, you're being so dramatic. She's not dead, Mom. She's still talking. I hear it. <laughs> but I'll cry and pretend it's really sad. Ugh, you have a flair for drama too, don't you, baby Kira? Okay, Molly, why don't you get off the floor? You have some extra chores to do. Blink, 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 blink. Get up, Molly, get up, get up. Extra chores? Nope, I'll just stay down here on the floor. Huh, I, I think this is better. Molly, you have extra chores to do because you're grounded. Now, come on, let's get started. I'll do chores later. Uh, I need to relax and watch some TV. I just got up. Who, gets, who does chores when they first wake up? That's just insanity. I like the show. I like the bop puppies and kittens. Molly, no TV for you. I like TV, though. Yeah, you can watch TV lady, later, baby Kira, because I don't want Molly to be tempted to watch any TV. Wait a minute. No electronics, no sweets, no TV, no friends. This is the worst few days of my life. And to top it off, here's the mop, Molly. <laughs> now, get started on your chores. Oh, boy. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm shopping and just relaxing. Why don't I get to do what I want? This stinks. I don't like this at all. Well, maybe you don't get detention so much, Molly. Maybe you don't get detention so much, Molly. <laughs> Oh, that's real mature. Oh, I'm so tired. Wait a minute. I have a perfect idea. A brilliant, amazing idea. Oh, baby Kira. Yeah, my ways. I have this delicious candy bar and also my iPad. And you can have both of them for the day if you help me out with some chores. Really? I don't have my own iPad. I always want to play on one. Yeah, you can watch uh, Baby Shark 5,000 times on YouTube if you want to. 
baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, yep. So all you have to do is just take this mop, and um, you know, just do all my chores. Wait, wait, that's it? Yep, that's it. There you go. Take it. Take it. Take it! Okay, I take it. Um, I don't really know how I mop. It's okay. See what I'm doing here? Just mopping back and forth. Everything's good. See? I get it. Okay. I'm pretty good at mopping, right? Um, yeah, sure. Good enough, I guess. Who cares? Ah, that's much better. Now I can chill and watch some TV. I pop it the whole house. I'm gonna watch the iPad. Oh, I got some on the couch. Oopsie. Hey, don't get any on the couch. Ah, uh, why do I care? <laughs> oh, I don't know the difference. Don't mop me. Oh, now I smell like pine salt. Oh, look at these adorable puppies. Oh, the dentist. Blah. Survivor. Perfect. Molly, you're gonna get in so much trouble for having baby Kira doing your chores when you're the grounded one. <laughs> You know what else? I'm gonna eat a Reese's too. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Mm. Get in my belly, <gasps> Molly. What? I, I don't have any candy. What are you talking about? What are you doing, Molly? Um, uh, uh maybe Kira wanted to do that, and who am I to deny her of her 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 right to clean? Molly, did you tell your baby sister you'd do something if you if you if you had her do your chores? Yeah, she did. Daisy, you're the biggest tattletale ever. You goody two shoes. Molly, that's it. I've had enough. Um, uh, had enough of what? My charming personality? <laughs> oh, you are the problem, child, for sure. Okay, that's it. You're grounded for an extra three days. What? Mom, you can't be serious. I came to catch with the mom. I'm good at it. Oh my gosh, baby Kira, you're gonna ruin the furniture. Molly, that's gonna have to come out of your allowance. What, double what? I don't think so, mom, that's my allowance. And you must learn that there are consequences when you do things that are wrong. Now, get started on the laundry, Molly. Okay, oh man, that really backfired on me. I guess I have no choice but to actually do all these chores. This is gonna be the worst six days of my life. Life! chores. Uh, are they leaving popcorn kernels on the floor? Be more careful! Oh my gosh, this episode of Brook High is hilarious, Daisy. I know why you girls like to watch this now. Now that Molly was doing all the chores, I actually had time to sit and watch TV. It's crazy. Yes! Mom, I, I, I can't do any more chores, please! Okay, Molly, you did a really great job. I'm very proud of you for actually following instructions. Really? Ah, I'm so tired now. Yeah, I've decided that you're only grounded for today. And your grounding is over. Really? Oh, Mom, thank you! I'll never forget this kindness. Not ever! Mama, I poo-poo in my pants. I need diaper. Um, actually, Molly, on second thought, your grounding is over as soon as you change baby Kira's poopy diaper. Wait, what? Yep, <laughs> that's your last punishment for getting detention. And it's sort of because I want to just sit here and not change it. Oh, man. Ew, baby Kara, you smell awful. Sorry, not done. Oh, boy. I've got to try to never have detention ever again. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Molly, we just had breakfast five minutes ago. I know, but I need some milk. I need some milk! Uh, you're so lucky. I wish I could drink some milk. What? Why? 
Excuse me, we're trying to have a conversation. Rude. Buddy, don't say that. They'll put you in Thai Mao. So, Daisy, why can't you drink any milk? My tummy just feels kind of funny today. Uh, it's even sticking out farther than it normally does. You know what that means? It means you gotta fart. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> Ew, Molly, you probably went doo-doo in your diaper. Good morning, girls. Who's ready to ride the ponies? Oh, Molly, you look so sad. What's wrong? I have to tinkle. I tinkle potty. Okay, come with me. And then we're going to go ride the ponies. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I'm really thirsty, though. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the potty. Can I have a drink? I need some milk. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh, she left. I can't believe she left me all alone on the potty. What if I fall in? What if I What if I go down to the sewer and I drown? Um, Molly, I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm right here, and you're just fine. Now go wash your hands, please. Okay, fine. I can't believe she left me there alone. Terrible caregiver! Molly, I think you're just a little grumpy. Maybe you need a snack before we ride the ponies? Yeah, I need a snack. Of course I do. You always get so hangry. Um, is Daisy going to have a snack too? I don't buy a snack. I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, your stomach still hurts? Well, maybe you're just hungry, sweetheart. Why don't we try feeding you something? All right, Molly, let's just put you in your high chair and give you a snack and a drink, and then we'll go ride the ponies. Okay, mmm, rice, mmm, this is delicious. Daisy, are you sure you don't want any? No, my stomach hurts so bad. I think there might be something wrong with me. Oh, honey, it's probably just, just like a little, a little tummy upset. You'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I ate tons of rice and it was delicious. And then I had a bottle of milk. Ah, my tummy is so happy. My tummy feels awful. Well, maybe once you ride the ponies, you'll feel better, Daisy. Come on, let's go. Oh, look it. I think that pony really likes me. Hi, I'm Molly. Molly, horses don't speak English. Oh, well, maybe they speak horse. Because Yes, I can. Oh, here comes a unicorn. Or Pegasus. I think it's a Pegasus because it's got wings. I want to ride the Pegasus. Okay, the Pegasus obviously wants me to ride it, but I don't, I don't know how to get on its back. I'm too little. Teacher, help me. There you go, Molly. You just needed a little bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Whee! Um, and also, that's not a Pegasus. That's a flying unicorn. Flying unicorn? Whoa. The wings are beautiful. Um, can you stop going so fast, though? You're making my tummy hurt. Tell me about it. My tummy's been hurting all day. Okay, girls. Well, since your tummies are both hurting, maybe it's time to go for a nap. Or maybe it's time to go to the hospital. Oh. I don't feel right. I want to see a doctor right now. Oh, Daisy, it's really that bad? Yeah, she's been telling you. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. She just threw up everywhere. All over that girl. Oh, no. I don't feel good. Ew, you threw up on me. Gross. Does anyone have any paper towels? Um, no, but you could go to get some at the nurse's station. Oh, Daisy, this is making me so sad that you're so sick. Girls, we need to take Daisy to the hospital and quick. Daisy, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Molly, my stomach, it hurts so, so bad. Oh no, Daisy, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're the most annoying sister in the world, but I hate to see you sick. I know, it's just so awful. <laughs> well, the doctor's gonna know what to do. I know it, they're gonna make you all better. May I have your attention, please? The next patient is Daisy. I need to go potty. I'm going to throw up. Oh, uh, you better hurry up. She she needs a wheelchair. Somebody help. I don't need a wheelchair. I have to go to the bathroom. And also, I think I'm going to throw up again. Not on me. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get thrown up on yuck. Do you have a bucket, Molly? Oh, my stomach. Hi there. I'm Dr. Smith, and I'd be happy to help your sister. Well, you better hurry because she's about to go poo-poo in her pants and she's throwing up. 
Oh my. Okay, sweetheart, just get right into the wheelchair and I'll take you into the exam room. And are you okay, little girl? My name's Molly and yeah, I'm just really tired. Having a sister that's sick is exhausting. Right this way, sweetheart. Everything's going to be a-okay. I hope so. I, I really need a drink. I want some milk. And I want my mommy. I want my mommy too. Well, your mommy's at work, but don't worry. She's been called. She'll be here as soon as possible. Now, I just need you to lay down in this bed so we can do a checkup and see if there's something wrong with your tummy. Okay, Daisy, let's take a look at your tummy. First, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on your tummy and I'm gonna feel for any bumps or lumps. I'm feeling very sick. When I turn you or twist you this way, does your tummy hurt? Yes, it hurts so bad. All right, we're gonna need to get an X-ray of your stomach and maybe an ultrasound too. Oh my gosh, is that gonna hurt? No, neither one of those hurt at all. Now, come on, Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. Oh man. I also have to go to the bathroom. I'm really thirsty and I need a nap. Worst day ever! <laughs> What's happening, doctor? What did you find out? Well, we did the x-ray and your sister has to have her appendix out. Wait, what? I wanna have surgery! <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, you'll eat all the ice cream you can stand. Whoa, sounds pretty good to me, Daisy. Can I have surgery too? I want to eat ice cream. I have water. <laughs> All right, sweetie. I'm just going to lay you on the operating table and give you some medicine that'll help you fall asleep. When you wake up, your mom will be here and everything will be all over and your tummy won't hurt anymore. Oh my gosh. I can't believe my sister's going to have surgery at Twilight Daycare. Do they do surgery here? Yes, we have doctors on staff for such things. Now you'll have to wait in the waiting room, Molly. You can't be in the surgery room, of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, my poor sister. Will she be okay? Will she survive? Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. She's so annoying, but... Wait a minute. I'm worried about her, but I'm also feeling kind of hungry. Where's the snack bar? I totally need to go get a snack. Ooh, a snack bar. Full of donuts? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's see how much everything costs. Ooh, $2. I probably can afford that, I think. Give me a donut! My sister's in the hospital, I need it! Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Can I buy another one? Oh, I'm totally gonna eat all these donuts until I explode. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Daisy has just finished surgery. Daisy has just finished surgery. Oh, wow. I can't stay here and eat all these donuts. I gotta go see my sister. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I feel kind of funny. My stomach doesn't really hurt anymore, though. I want my mommy! Oh, Daisy, mom's gonna be here any minute. I just know it. How was the surgery? I don't know. I don't remember anything. All I know is they said, count to three. I went one, two. Now I woke up over here. I guess the surgery's over. Yeah, the surgery's over, Daisy. Now they said you could eat as much ice cream as you want. Well, that's good, because I'm very hungry if I'm not eating all day. Oh, I'm so glad you can eat again, and that your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, except for they told me after the surgery I would have to fart a lot. Say what? Yeah, and I'm sort of feeling... Ew, Daisy! Gassy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awful! Oh, it's making me wanna... Ew, Molly! Sorry, you stink so bad, gross! Oh, you're so dramatic. I want my mom. I want my mom! Daisy already told you, she's coming any minute. She's gonna take you home, and then you're not gonna be able to go to um, Twilight Daycare for at least probably a week because you had surgery. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll stay home and eat ice cream and watch all the TV I want while you have to come and do class and homework and stuff. Wait, what? I have to come even though you don't? That sounds completely unfair! Oh, it is, Molly. All you have to do is have surgery. 
I don't want surgery, but I don't want to come to school every day. Uh, Molly, that's just the way educational daycare is. And since you're not sick, you get to do all the homework. I don't like this. I don't like this at all! Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly, and Daisy and I want to show you this amazing fan video that we found on YouTube. And today's video is going to be based on this fan art. It says Molly and Daisy, but they're evil twins, Polly and Maisie. Bam, bam, bam! Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah! Oh my gosh, Polly is so creepy. Look at Maisie! Whoa! I like my little pumpkin barrette. Yeah, it's adorable. Until you turn into that! <laughs> awesome artwork. Shout out to Maria. We love it. And today's video is going to be based on your fan art. Polly, are you feeling okay? Not really. That Starbucks we got, it upset my stomach really bad. But it's making me feel kind of sleepy. That's just happening because you ate too much, Molly. I hardly ate anything. All I had was one muffin, one sandwich, and two lattes. Molly, that's a lot of food. So that's what I normally eat. Oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe a good night's sleep will make you feel better, Molly. I hope so. Oh. See you next, Melman. was poison! What? What are you talking about, Molly? This is a terrible prank. Why are we put in this jail cell? I don't know, but help! Help! Meanwhile... Well, Polly, it seems that I've hacked into their bank accounts. Perfect, Maisie. I hear their mom coming. Come on, pretend you're asleep. Okay, but, but I'm still uncracking all of the bank accounts. Well, do it after she wakes us up. We're already awake. Maisie! Just trust me on this. Girls, come on. It's time to wake up. I thought maybe we could go school shopping today. We could take Brookie along if you want. Go away. Well, Molly, that's not very nice. Whoa, do you have pink eye? What's going on with your eyes? No, my eyes are just fine. I just stayed up too late, so they're a little red. Whoa, Daisy, your eyes look red too. I think you guys need to see the eye doctor. I think you both might have pink eye. Our eyes are fine, lady. Whoa, lady? I was your mama just last night. Now all of a sudden I'm just lady? Would a lady make you breakfast? Pancakes? Sorry, mom. Yeah, we'll eat your crummy pancakes. What has gotten into you? Nothing, mom. She's fine. Maisie, pull it together before she figures out that we're not Molly and Daisy. Oh, sorry, mom. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. No problem. Everybody has difficult mornings. Now come on, let's go eat breakfast. Molly, I know how much you love extra peanut butter on your pancakes with a little bit of syrup, so that's exactly how I made them for you. Ew, pancakes with syrup and peanut butter? You love peanut butter, what are you talking about? Not on my pancakes, that's disgusting. Molly, are you feeling okay? You love to have peanut butter and then syrup. It's like your favorite. Ew, gross, Mom. Okay, well, I guess you're growing up now and you don't like the same things. It just seems kind of weird to me. Okay, Mom, well, can you leave us alone now? Hey, Polly, you're supposed to like the same things as Molly, remember? You're gonna give us away. Oh, yeah, true. Um, hey, we're gonna go play with our best friend. Wait, what's her name? Um, Brookie? Yeah, we're gonna go play with her and then when we come back, can we go school shopping? Sure, but only be a couple of hours, girls, okay? Because I'm gonna do some laundry and clean up the house a bit and then we're gonna leave, okay? Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. The pressure to be exactly like Molly around this lady is driving me crazy. Who's that? I don't know, but I don't know, she doesn't run into us. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, hi, do we know you? We don't talk to strangers. <laughs> you are being so silly right now, Molly. Apparently, she knows who we are. Um, did you guys both get bonks on the head? Uh, it's me, Brookie. Oh, Brookie! 
Our best friend? Yeah, our best friend, yeah. What do we like to do, Bucky? You girls are acting really, really weird. What's up with your eyes? They're so red. Do you guys have pink eye or something? No, we just have red eyes, okay? Leave it alone already. Now, what should we do for fun? Um, well, you guys like to ride bikes, right? So uh, I could ride my skateboard, you could ride bikes. Perfect, now where's my bike? Molly, you keep it locked in the garage for safekeeping. Remember? Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, Molly, what's Daisy doing? I'm going to take Dad's motorcycle. Riding bikes is boring. She doesn't even know how to ride a motorcycle. Of course I do. Now I don't got to ride it. The motorcycle is lame. Well, you heard her. She wants to ride a motorcycle. Um, you guys are acting really strange today. I think maybe I'll go home. No, don't go home. Then we got to hang out with that lady inside, and I don't want to. You mean your mom? she make you pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, why? Well, then maybe you should be nicer to her. I mean, she always makes you something delicious for breakfast, and... I'm back! Who wants to ride on my Harley? I will! Sounds fun! See you later, Brookie, since you don't want to hang out with us. Um, okay! Wow, those guys are acting so weird. Um, let's get out of here, Maisie. I cannot stand being around these people anymore. Maybe we could go rob a bank or something. Hey, uh, low profile? Duh! We're supposed to be taking over Molly and Daisy's life, not making everyone think that we're bad guys. Exactly. Wait, why are we trying to take over their lives? So we have a pre free place to stay. Pancakes every morning. Yeah, that's true. That sounds like the good life to me, but I still want to rob the bank. <laughs> oh, this Maisie, she is so annoying. Okay, well, all right, I'm taking the motorcycle. Have fun. Hey, get back here. Oh, man, I don't have any money, and I want Starbucks. I'm starving. Well, good thing I've solved that problem. What? Maisie, look at all that cash. You didn't want me to rob the bank, but you sure want to use my money when you need something from Starbucks. Well, she does have a point. <laughs> well, 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 who do we have here? Two losers, Molly and Daisy. I don't know who you think you are, but you've come to Molly and Daisy. Yeah, that's who. On the wrong day. What, loser? What are you saying? I'm saying that shirt is so last season and it makes me want to throw up along with your face. What? What did you just say? Yeah, why are you always bullying everybody? Obviously, you're not even that good at it. What? What? And your shoes are gross. It looks like you stepped in dog poop in them. Yeah, ugly. That's what you are. Yeah, I'm going to spray it with this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Get out of here, bully! Oh my god, I don't know what happened to Molly and Daisy, but they're the worst bullies, even worse than me! <laughs> Way to go! This was amazing, Polly! Yeah, good job, Maisie! I don't know who that bully was, but apparently we got rid of her real fast. Girls, there you are! You've been gone for hours and hours and hours! I told you to come back in two hours so we could go school clothes shopping! Well, it looks like it didn't make any difference to you. You're still doing dishes. Well, th that's not the point. I told you to come back in two hours. Ah, fine. Well, at least I made you each bean burritos. You know, I thought you'd be hungry. Wow, that's cool, lady. Why are you guys calling me lady? I'm your mom. Now go sit down. You can eat your bean burritos. Okay. Does she even know that I don't really like bean burritos? Must be Molly really likes them. Well, Molly, that's your second bean burrito, and, well, nothing's happening. What should happen? Except for the fact it's giving me heartburn. Heartburn? No, 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 no. You haven't even farted. Not even one time. Huh? What? No, I never fart from bean burritos. What? I have my gas meter out, and, and no gas has come out of you at all. You're an imposter. Where's Molly? What? What are you talking about? You are not my daughter. Where is she? Daisy, we're never going to get out of here. Don't say that, Molly. Someone will eventually figure out that we're down here. What's that delicious smell? It smells like... Smells like mom's making bean burritos. Oh, boy. Oh, we're missing bean burritos. Smells so good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, we're stuck in the same place. So why'd you do that? Because if I even smell a bean burrito, I fart. Somebody help! I'm stuck down here and it smells really bad! Help! What games do you guys want to play? How about, uh, I want to play Twister. No, I don't want to play Twister. Uh, I'm kind of like tired today. You're tired? Why? 
Oh, never mind. It's kind of a secret. A secret, you say, huh? Yeah, I'm just like really tired and I'm just, I'm not in the mood to like do Twister or any game that involves me moving. Oh, okay. Well, what about Truth or Dare? Ooh, yeah, I second that. Okay, yeah, I'll play Truth or Dare. Okay, Bricky, well, you ask first. Molly, truth or dare? Um, truth. Do you have a crush on Luke? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. She knows exactly what you're talking about, Bookie. Look, her face is getting really red. She's really embarrassed. Molly, you have to answer the truth. Um, uh, uh, next question. Molly, it, you're going to lose the game. I don't care. I'm not answering it. Come on. I'm your best friend. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. Okay. Yes, I have a crush on Luke. Oh. <laughs> about it Ugh. we are so never talking about this ever again why you don't want to talk about your crush come on molly yeah molly molly and luke sitting in a tree k-i-s-s-i-n-g first comes love then comes marriage then comes babies in the baby be carriage dizzy be quiet Okay, G plus. No need to get so mad about it. Okay, Brookie. Ugh, truth or dare? Hmm, truth didn't work out so well with you, Molly. <laughs> I think that I'm going to pick a dare. Perfect! I dare you to let me and Daisy use her shrinking potion that she made in her science lab to go inside your brain and see what you're thinking. Especially since you said there was a secret. Wait, whoa. Daisy has a lab? Yeah, it was supposed to be a secret until Molly blah, 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 blabbed. Well, it's it's pretty cool, Daisy. Why do you want it to be a secret? Because I don't want anyone to know I'm doing science experiments. Duh! Oh, okay. Well, um, she knows now. Um, I'm your best friend. I won't tell anybody. And um, my second question is shrinking potion. Yeah, I made a shrinking potion. And it allows us to shrink down and go in your brain. You have to take it. You chose dare. But then you'll know everything I'm thinking. Um, not everything, but we will see some things. Are you going to lose the game? Or are you going to let us go inside your brain? Huh? 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 Okay. You can use the potion and go inside my brain. Whoa! This is going to be cray cray. I sort of just wanted to go inside Brookie's brain just so I could drink the shrinking potion. It's so delicious. Tastes like a shamrock shake from McDonald's. Well, I made it taste yummy because who wants to drink a yucky drink? <laughs> I feel like I'm shrinking. Is anything happening yet? No, Molly, nothing. Whoa, Daisy, you're shrinking really fast. Oh, my gosh. You weren't kidding. She did shrink. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about this, guys. Just hold still. You won't feel a thing. Right, Daisy? I don't really know, actually. Whoa! This is crazy! Tell me about it, Molly! <laughs> I think it's kind of fun! Like a water slide! What are we doing up at 6 o'clock in the morning? It's not us, Molly. It's Pookie. Why is she running down the street? <sighs> Push yourself harder, Brookie! Push yourself harder! Whoa! <laughs> she seems kind of insane out right now! This is kind of cray cray. What's she doing? Um, I think she's doing some sort of workout. Where'd she go? I don't know, but why would she be up this early doing this? I think she might be training or something. <sighs> now she's riding a bike back. Okay, this is just insane. I wouldn't even get out of bed before like nine if I didn't have to. Okay, I can do this. Come on, I gotta beat my time. Go, go, go. She's very motivational to herself. <laughs> Where's she going, Molly? Let's follow her. Good idea. Why is she just staring at the lake like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's way too cold to go swimming today. Besides, it's only 6.30 in the morning. Brr. She's doing something. Well, she's drinking some water. Well, maybe she's just relaxing after her. Oh, my God. She's going in the water. That water is freezing. <sighs> she's trying to swim to the other side of Lake Madison. What a cuckoo. Molly, I think she might be training for the Iron Man. What is the Iron Man? 
I mean, I know who Iron Man is. <laughs> he wears a red suit, flies around. Molly, no, Iron Man competition. It's very, very elite. You have to be the best athlete on the planet, pretty much. Huh, I wonder why Brookie wants to do that. I mean, doesn't she just want to sit around all day and eat cupcakes? I totally would. Mmm, these cupcakes are delicious. Mmm, I love them so much. I could eat 400 more of them. Maybe I will. <laughs> this is the life. Mmm, it's so good. Cupcakes, I love you, cupcakes. <laughs> Molly, snip out of it. Oh my goodness, you inside someone else's brain having a daydream about cupcakes. Holy guacamole. <laughs> cupcakes are delicious. Stop it, Molly. Stop thinking about cupcakes. <sighs> well, I wonder what Brookie's doing now. It looks like she's eating something. I wonder what it is. I have to eat all this protein so I can build my muscle. So much protein. But then everyone will know my dark secret. Ooh, now we're getting to the good stuff. You mean your best friend training for a highly elite competition isn't the good stuff? No, not at all. I want to hear the dark secret. Oh, my stomach feels weird. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! There are no words right now! Um, uh, Molly? I think I'm gonna pass out. I don't feel so good. This is your dark secret? Y y you're, you're kidding me, right? Well, where are we? Molly, I, I think... I think... Ah, I just got farted at! Ah, I landed in the toilet! Ah! Molly... I think we're inside. I'm we're inside Bucket Cookie's worst nightmare. What? Having to eat all this protein? You gotta eat all these beans, I guess. Yeah, and then what happens is she has gas in front of everybody, and she's super embarrassed. Well, I couldn't hear you. I have to go eat this giant burrito. Hey, why'd you eat that burrito? Molly, there's a bunch of people in here that are gonna know she is super farty. Oh well, I don't think that's such a bad thing. Okay, yes it is. I'm so sorry, everyone, but I have to fart. <laughs> what? Is that Brookie? It is, Molly. She can't stop farting. Um, okay, I, I want to get out of here because her worst nightmare is also mine. I mean, eating all the beans and stuff is really cool and, and whatnot, but, like, having to, like, be farted at a million times, no thanks. Whoa, look at all these wedges of cheese. That dad? No, I think it's just someone that looks like dad. Dad wouldn't be in Bookie's brain in, in this giant fart nightmare. I don't know. Dad farts a lot. And Bookie spends a lot of time at our house, so uh, she's probably noticed all his farting. Ooh, a stinky cabbage. Wait, can I fart in here too? Molly, do not attempt to fart in there. You will change the course of Bookie's nightmare. Maybe I'll break her free from it. Let her know that everybody farts, Brookie. Everybody farts. Everybody farts, Brookie. Everybody farts. Oh, that was a stinking duty one. Sorry to do this to you. Whoa, I fart cats. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to fart this person. <laughs> See, Brookie, we all fart. Yeah, it's totally normal to fart. Even Daisy farts. No, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Daisy, you have butterfly farts? Of course you would. Your par your farts would be total butterflies. Ah! Oh, Brookie farted again. It's like a horrible gas smell. Of course it is, Molly. What do you think it's supposed to be? Uh-oh. This person's back for revenge. Molly, um, maybe we should go back into the real world now. Get out of Bookie's brain. Okay, um, give us the shrink or the grow up potion. Already took the shrinking pro potion. Now we have to um drink the enlarging potion. <laughs> I farted. Uh, that's the thing, Molly. Um, I sort of spilled it. What? We're stuck in this fart night.